We're here today with Glenn Smith, Managing Director of Navita Healthcare. Glenn, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. Can you explain what the technology is that sits within the business? Yeah, so Navita Healthcare holds Tali. And Tali is a technology that assess, assesses children and strengthens children's attention early on in life, specifically in the area of three to eight years of age. So it's a new medical device, regulated technology that any child can use early on in life. And it's more than just an app. Absolutely. So we're talking about a program. So many years of research and development, clinical trials, regulated medical device, and it's actually a program that assesses in a scientific and clinical manner a child's propensity for attention deficits and then delivers out a very regulated treatment or regime of training to help strengthen that underlying core attention of the child. And you've recently announced some very significant news in relation to the US market. Yes, absolutely. So Tali Detect, that initial screening program, has access to a CPT or reimbursement code in the US. So in practical terms, that means a parent and a child can go to a physician in the US, be screened under that code, and Medicare or their health insurer will rebate the cost of that. How big is that prize? Yeah, it's huge because in the US, about 10 million kids alone each year start school. So we're talking about five-year-olds. So it's a huge opportunity every year to screen children for potential attention deficits. We already know there are 6.1 million children alone in the US diagnosed with ADHD. So it's a massive real issue that's front of mind in the US currently. Tali Detect itself is a very important part of the sales pipeline for the Tali brand. Absolutely. So. If you think about Tali Detect as a universal screening program, so any child, particularly five, six and seven, will be screened. And so each of those children will get a report, a scientific and clinically validated report that a parent, a teacher or a healthcare professional can use as a baseline to then deliver out an integrated learning program or treatment program for that child. So we can literally screen millions of children and then they can convert, if appropriate, onto our Tali Train program. So that's really important to build up a large group of children who come in and get identified first and then get the appropriate treatment, whether through Tali Train or through a healthcare professional or help at the school level. So investors should be looking for numbers around Tali Detect in terms of signing up schools or even state jurisdictions to use the platform as a detection tool. Correct, and we're screening currently thousands of children in Victoria and over the coming month we'll start to release some data about how many children we've screened and how many children are then converted on to the paid Tali Train program. And that's to be really key leading indicators as to where the revenue is and where it will be in the coming quarters. So moving forward, what should investors be focused on as key metrics or indicators of how successful the rollout of the product's going? Yeah, because we're a software as a service business, investors should really look at the number of users or children who've been screened through our Tali Detect product, and then the conversion into our Tali train. So how many of those children we screen get identified through the clinic report as requiring further attention? And then those numbers will be great leading indicators in terms of what the revenue is, where the revenue will be in forward quarters, but also give investors a guidance around growth of the business. Do you think when a school or a, a jurisdiction screens students, who is likely to pay if they find there's a cohort of students that have an issue, maybe not ADHD, mm -hmm. but definitely an attention issue? Do you think it's the school who will say, yeah, we think we want to get in and support and, and take you into the paid model, yes. or the parent, or a mixture of both? Yeah, absolutely. Primarily the schools, we're seeing schools very um, aggressive, not aggressive, but very willing to pay for the training product. So they're seeing it as an ability to not only get children ready for more learning, but also a value add in the school to say, we've identified your child early, we've got an integrated or individual learning program for the child because of the data that we get out of Tali. Um, but they're also giving parents the option. If they can't pay for it at the school, the parent has the option to purchase as well. Exciting times ahead, some big opportunities coming. Glenn, thanks for your time. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it.